Uh, Voyager. Voyager is done and done. I'm going to do one more video on this and uh, show everyone and then I'm going to get it wrapped up and get it ready for shipping and get it to its rightful owner. Uh, first things first, the uh, little shuttle. I added a little bit of a wash and uh, just a little dry brushing on it. So uh, that'll be in a little bit of a little baggy and uh, next to the ship. So you'll be able to find that once we ship that. I uh, got the base stained. Uh, it's a telescoping uh, base, so you'll be able to put the ship on there. It'll rest on the uh, bigger tube. Uh, let me see if I have it. Yeah, let's do this. We'll just do this. Uh, it'll have black and red wire. All you got to do is the ship will have a black and red wire. The uh, switch will have a uh, and battery will have a black and red wire. All you got to do is uh, put black on black and red on red little electrical tape and you're good to go that's the only uh, wiring you'll have to do on that everything does uh, work got the nacelles uh, you know lit up the uh, uh, windows and everything else and I probably got probably got too many lights on yeah I probably do but anyway we'll uh, we'll make do uh, I try not to uh, you know, turn all the lights off when you because it really makes it look like it's hot boxing it. Uh, but anyway, I think it uh, turned out really great and uh, should be a, a nice display for uh, wherever it's going to go a, a shelf on the desk or anything. Uh, I don't really do uh, pictures anymore when I build models for people. Uh, pictures tend to lie, especially if you do it at like certain, certain angles. That's why I prefer videos when I show people what I build. That way you can pause it, you know, uh, high definition TVs and you, know, you can really monitors, you can really scope it out. But anyway, so we are good to go. Uh, it's a very fun model. It, uh, you know, I don't I don't build a whole lot of Star Trek ships hardly anymore, but that was uh, that was very fun and uh, very fun doing. I'm gonna get this off the workbench so and when everything's uh, done and clean, I like to get everything uh, ready for shipment and uh, get it uh, to its rightful owner. And plus, there are no accidents because y'all did see the uh, where I knocked it over. You know, you're not supposed to see when I do stuff like that. But anyway, Voyager is finished so uh, i'm going to get this uh, off the work man get it wrapped up get it uh to its rightful owner uh the mad max car uh i lied yesterday i said the front end was going to be uh yellow it's actually it's actually backwards uh this part's going to be yellow this part will be blue so you will see the uh blue flame on there i mean it just uh it's just very faint, but it will be see it. Won't really see it on uh, camera when it gets uh, rolled, but uh, up close. I mean, if you get real close to it, you'll be able to see it. But anyway, other than that, I did have to sand a few uh, places. You know, I don't know why, but when you spray, uh, I know it's not really cured to a point, but it had a little spider van. It's got to sand off. So I gotta get that uh, finished painted in blue, and then uh, I started masking off everything. I gotta. Burnish it down, and I'm gonna put the uh, yellow, and then I'm gonna get the. Cause I ain't. I'm pointing to the red tape. I'm gonna get the uh, uh, red tape. I ain't. I'm not gonna hit the Voyager again. So uh, paint that yellow, and I'm gonna take red pinstripe and do that way. I don't have to paint it, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll hold up a lot more better. So when Mad Max is hopefully it gets more paint on it uh, this weekend, the uh, trifugal. I didn't get to do a whole lot. Uh, hopefully, it's Labor Day weekend. I should be able to get a little more done on. I'm gonna try to uh, try to work on a little bit more. But I did get a new base for it. I got the uh, Polar Lights uh, large dome base, which uh, I'm about to buy. I like to buy cases of these. I think they're basically universal. You can use them for almost anything. And uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to see if the hobby store can get me some more of these. So I got the uh, large dome base. Uh, really don't need the, uh, you know, hide the. Uh, it's going to have. I'm going to drill a hole and put the uh, uh, adapter in there, and so be able to plug it in and everything. But the only thing I really did is uh, I'm adding some styrene strip. 
uh, because that's where I sanded off all the, uh, I basically sanded off all the rivet detail. I could put it back, but it'd be, uh, I want a little more uh, detail on here. I'm gonna add like a little bit of armor. You know, don't, maybe you got the Trifugal Mark II, you know, who knows? You know, like the BF109E, the C and the D, you know, be, be something like that. So, added some styrene strip. I'm gonna add some little more, uh, like little, uh, uh, not hatches, but just little squares around here, just hide up a few things. I did uh, add some styrene strip here to uh, fill up the gap uh, where I basically measured wrong. I wanted it to spin freely, but I didn't want, you know, too much of a, a gap there, so I extended that. And uh, other than that, got uh, everything pretty much sanded. Got the cockpit pretty much sanded. I'm going to add some strip on that because it's just the kit does fit really well. I mean, if you didn't uh, modify it at all, it goes together really well. And uh, I, I, I would suggest, suggest uh, to anyone to get the kit because it does fit really good. But, and of course me, I uh, like to sand everything smooth. So... Uh, lose some detail but we'll add some detail with the styrene strip anyway that's what i got going on today and i'm still doing uh some sub assemblies the little landing gears that go on the uh back there so we'll try to get that finished this week <clears throat> excuse me but anyway that's what i've got going on today trifugal getting its uh new stand and getting some detail the uh mad max car we're taping it off and uh voyager is uh, going to be uh, finished and shipped off to its rightful owner. So that's what we got going on today. So stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode.